Let's make an easy feel good salmon bowl. All right, getting everything ready to go to the store. See my dog and my cute little slippers. I feel like Mr. Rogers changing my shoes. But anyway, yes, you can tell it was nice out. I'm wearing shorts. Heading on out to the grocery store. Don't mind my my dirty garage and probably my dirty car. All right, so here's my list. I have a list in my notes app of my phone. I have a grocery store list and every time I go to the grocery store, I check off what I need. So here I am picking up lettuce and you can get really whatever lettuce you want. I prefer butter lettuce and romaine. Grabbing some tomatoes. And this is your salmon bowl, so you can customize it any way you like. And you can also add some avocado. Just remember when you're grabbing your avocados, make sure it feels like a little spongy, but not super soft. And definitely not hard they should also not be green because they are completely unripe grabbing my cucumber and again this is whatever bowl you want to make heading on over to the salmon section grabbing some salmon now in this video I'm not using um, the salmon that I'm using now this is more um, farm raised which you should really get wild but regardless get the salmon of your choice however much you like I like to make enough for several meals grabbing all my groceries up oh, heading to Dunkin Donuts grabbing some coffee I would order on the way in there it is that's me I don't know about you, but I've been making my coffee at home lately. It just tastes better, but this was quick and convenient and a little bit of a treat when I'm out. So grabbing my little straw, pardon my finger in the way, you know, not used to videoing myself quite yet, but we will get there. And I got a nice big coffee that day. Like I said, it was warm. All right. Let's get down to it. Pulling out the salmon, you wanna make sure to wash your hands frequently while dealing with raw fish, meats, anything like that. Opening it up. All right, and now here's a trick. Hold on, I had to wash my hands. Use a pair of kitchen scissors to cut it up instead of a knife because typically when you're using a knife, it, it just kind of tears into the salmon. This is much more gentle and you have more control over the size of your pieces. Just make sure they're even um, so that when we throw them in the air fryer, they cook evenly. You can do skin on or skin off. In this particular uh, video, I was doing skin off. But you see how easy this is? It's so quick. Just chop them up. Take your time. Checking out my nails in this video. They look pretty good. I'd also just come back from vacation, so that's nice. Ah, oh, to be back in the warm weather again. So like I said, just do, just do whatever sizes fit you best. All right, now I'm putting on some seafood seasoning. Again, this is your bowl. You can make it spicy, you can make it mild. I am not a spicy person. And I also am not good with soy. So you're gonna see the coconut aminos that are sitting there. I think I got them from Thrive Market, which I love because they deliver it right to your door at good prices. So if I, first I put the seasoning on and I just mix it around. If you're uncomfortable touching the salmon, then go ahead and use a spoon or whatnot. But I find that my hands are better. Then I pour on 
some of the coconut aminos. Okay, mix that up really good. Looks good already. I'm getting hungry. Now I put on more seafood seasoning. Mix it all up. Just make sure everything is covered. Oh, add a little bit more. And again, it's up to you however, however you want to season it. It's totally customizable, which is what makes it great. So that's marinating. So in the meantime, while that's marinating in the fridge, pull out my rice and I'm going to throw that in. I don't have a rice cooker, so I use these Pampered Chef uh, containers or pots or pans, whatever you want to call that, and I make it in the microwave. You can see how it vents. I just put it in the microwave. Pardon my casual attire. Okay, now that the salmon is marinated, we are going to throw it in the air fryer. I use these parchment paper liners, which a friend of mine turned me on to. You can get them off Amazon. They are fantastic because you're not constantly cleaning the tray of your air fryer. So just make sure when you put it in the liner, you're spreading it out evenly. You want it to evenly cook. And then that way, when you move them around, after they cook a little bit, it's, it's just even. Yeah, push them around. Okay. Oh, there's my puppy. That's my dog, Remy. He's an English Springer Spaniel. He's so cute. All right, so turn on your air fryer. And it did preheat first, so I had already done that. You're going to put it on 380 degrees for four minutes to start. And then while that's cooking, I'm cutting up my vegetables. I really, I mean, I think you can use one of those fancy little things to chop up vegetables, but then you have to, you know, clean the fancy little thing. And if I'm not making a ton, I just use a knife. And again, I'm just making enough for one bowl right now. I usually chop my vegetables fresh each time I make a bowl. So as you can see, I like tomatoes, cucumber, avocado. Again, if you like more things in there, fancy stuff, go ahead and put it in. I mean, this is like a homemade poke bowl, if you will. I really love that outfit I'm wearing. I'm just remembering that I got it on Amazon. It's so cozy soft. And even though it's summer, I'm always wearing something long sleeve. I don't know about you, but ever since COVID, I just want to be comfortable at home. Here's the avocado. Here's the trick. Just slice it down. And then the one side, and then you slice it around the other side. And then you just twist it. And then you get four even quarters. And then I remove the big seed in the middle. So I usually just use a quarter. It's really healthy fat. And I just use a quarter at a time. And I like to chop everything up. <laughs> oh, all right. The air fryer went off. I pull it out. And here's where you just take tongs or a spoon or something like that. And you want to mix it up. You want to move them around so that whatever has been cooked is flipped over. So that the uncooked portion is cooked on the next go round. And... This really doesn't take long at all, and it cooks really evenly most of the time, so I wouldn't worry too much if you're trying to get every single piece. Just make sure you shift it around, move it around, flip it, or flip it over. Now you're going to put it back in for 380 degrees again. 
for another four minutes. Okay, so I've cooked the jasmine rice, which is my favorite rice. Again, use any rice you want, or you don't have to use any rice at all. I've even used sweet potatoes as my base. Either one works. They're both yummy and healthy. And as you can see, this isn't really taking very long. I think the longest thing that I cooked was the rice, but I was also multitasking and doing other things. So I'm putting the rice in on the bottom. And you can see I've already added all of my lettuce to the bowl with the cucumbers and tomatoes. So I'm going to spread that out. I'm not usually this slow with doing this, but it definitely looks prettier this way. So put all the tomatoes and the cucumbers on top. And you can see the salmon is done. It's beautiful. And of course, the best time to eat this bowl is the first time you make the salmon because it's super fresh. So then I take some tongs. And I usually, I mean, it's salmon, it's healthy for you. I usually use about a quarter cup, maybe a third of a cup in each serving. And like I said, I usually get about, um, I usually get about four meals out of this. It just really depends how hungry you are. But definitely eat it within five to seven days, I would say. Right. And the, the topping is spicy mayonnaise. I'm a big fan of Sir Kensington's. That's my favorite. Super healthy ingredients. Yum. Yum. Look at that bowl. Absolutely gorgeous. And here's me in a different outfit eating it because I forgot to do that then. So I make it all the time. So as you can see, I am completely enjoying it, and I hope you do too. Please come back for the next easy meal.